everybody, hello, hello, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are back with I Love Common Books by uh, The Oddest One Out. And I personally love comic books. I used to read them a lot because I never liked reading chapter books. So I stick with like graphic novels and like comic books. I like Marvel comic books and DC comic books. Either or, I did not care. I just like comic books, all right? Um, so I'm going to see how relatable this will be, all right? Because he's pretty relatable sometimes when this stuff comes up. But before it happens, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video. Tell a post notification if I want to post a new video. Do all that good stuff and let's get into this reaction. Draw a picture, Draw a picture right, right now. Alright, okay. right. you done? That sucks, that sucks right? Oh. I spent two hours on the face, I couldn't get the hands right, and when I compared my art to this other artist I found online who's younger than me, it makes me want to curb stomp this monstrosity so no one ever has to look at it again. Oh. Okay, okay, now, think of a joke. Not one you've already heard before. I want you to think up a brand new, never been done before joke. Uh, okay. Ugh. You know how cats are like lazy? Maybe we could do a joke about a lazy cat and his owner is like, Dah, stop being so lazy. No. That sucked too. Now imagine doing both of those things together and then putting that artwork up for the entire world to leave their unfiltered, anonymous opinions. Yes. And on top of that, you also make virtually no money off of it. Who in their right mind would put themselves through that kind of torture? Well, dear viewer, I would like you all to meet Zachary. Zachary is a web comic artist. He makes web comics just so when you're scrolling through your timeline while taking your morning poo, you get a little chuckle to yourself. <laughs> and then you keep on scrolling, forgetting about his existence entirely in mere seconds. I have a soft spot for funny web comics. Not the super serious superhero ones or the Japanese ones. Wait, why is this part all pixely? Web comics can be shared on any platform. In fact, a lot of web comics get reposted without the artist's consent and with their names removed. Which is kind of weird that someone went through the effort of removing a watermark when they could have just, you know, not done anything and left it. I hope you all realize that behind every comic is an artist who just wanted to make you laugh and doodle something that day. I started reading web comics at a very young age. Back then, we just called them comics. They were really the only books that I liked to read. And the only place you could read the hottest new comics was in the newspaper. Oh, sorry, I should clarify. A newspaper is a stack of gray paper that would be delivered to your house by a child riding a bike, and you would print 19 pages of useless information and have one page dedicated to the funnies. <laughs> This is where the classics were born. You know the ones, the Calvin and Hobbes, the Garfields, the, the Far Sides. Some of these yes. comics have made me laugh harder than any meme ever has. I just want to say that Calvin and Hobbes was an extremely creative comic. It was a comic about a rambunctious boy that had a giant predatory animal best friend. I mean, where else have you seen that before? <laughs> By the way, if you ever see those Calvin peeing bumper stickers, those are unlicensed knockoffs and really go against everything Calvin and his creator, Bill Watterson, stood for. In fact, all Calvin and Hobbes merchandise is unlicensed because Bill Watterson never made merchandise. But I mean, aren't these crochet Hobbes dolls the coolest? So there was only enough space in the paper for about 20 comics. And last time I counted, there were way more than 20 comic creators. So if you wanted to get your silly little comic in the news, paper, you had some fierce competition. But now, anyone with a computer and enough dedication can create comics that get shared by millions of people. You don't even need a fancy drawing tablet or expensive painting software or even art skills in general. Web comics and the internet and memes have been intertwined for decades. Many of your favorite meme formats are just edited web comics. Now, in most cases, if someone took an artist's work, defaced it, and then re-uploaded it without credit, that'd be a bad thing. The memes are different, I guess. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I want you all to know that these artists have made other comics that are just as funny, and you should support their work and buy their books, and if you're going to make a webcomic at it, please just keep in the watermark. It's, it's literally more work to take it out. You're being an asshole. Some of you original gangsters may remember that I also used to be a webcomic artist. I posted my first webcomic in 2012, which was over 10 years. 10 years? Ten years ago. It's been that yes. long? What the fuck? <laughs> to be honest, 
My webcomics took a little while to get some traction. Let me explain something. Oh, All the comics I would read in the newspaper had distinguished characters with personalities. A lot of times, the punchline of a newspaper comic would only be funny because we knew the characters and their mannerisms. Garfield hates Mondays, so instead of him hating Friday the 13th, he hates Monday the 13th. That's a good one, Garfield. <laughs> so I try to make a webcomic like that with my own little universe. I'm going to be a little vulnerable for a minute. Let's talk about my OCs I made when I was a 16-year-old boy. There were three main brothers. Jake, who was a self-insert character. One time I dressed up as him for Halloween. Justin, the book smart straight man. Straight man as in the character archetype, not the sexuality. Although if any of the brothers were gay, Justin would be the gay one. And Kevin, the laid-back older brother who did whatever he wanted because he's the oldest. Those three were the main boys. Jake, Justin, and Kevin. The three whitest names anyone's ever heard. Now, if you're an up-and-coming comedy webcomic artist, I would suggest to not to do what I did. If you're just trying to make someone laugh, you don't need a whole cast of characters that have intricate relationships. Just tell your joke and leave. Or don't. It's your, art. it's your art. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Eventually, I wanted to rebrand myself. Instead of having distinguished, defined characters, I went with a very basic looking character design that had absolutely no distinguishing features at all. And I settled on a design that looked like this. I mean, over time, I refined it. I originally posted my comics exclusively to Tumblr. It was just me and this other obscure webcomic about trolls. We were the two main ones, really. Now, if you're still an up-and-coming webcomic artist, then you should post your comics to every platform imaginable. I learned the importance of cross-platform promotion the not-so-easy way. One day, I got a Tumblr message from someone asking if they could post my comics to a small, unknown app called iFunny. And I said, Sure. Then that guy would periodically send me messages like, Dude, we are blowing up! Our comics keep getting featured! And I was like, Our? Oh, I then I wake up to messages asking, Hey, are you the one posting these to iFunny? And I said, no, but I gave the other guy permission to. I used to make memes on He's impersonating you and starting beef with other artists, right? Hmm? It turned out that iFunny was my was most like popular social media account, and I didn't even have access to it. I eventually got the account back, and now people tell me that they loved reading my comics on iFunny back in the day, which wasn't even part of the plan originally. Web comics have really impacted me and this channel. Some of my earliest online friends were other web comic artists who I don't keep in touch with as much as I should. My bad, guys, I'm sorry. My username is based off my webcomic, my character design was made for my webcomic, and even my cannonball profile picture is from a panel in my webcomic. I really hope this video makes you appreciate the webcomics that you see on your timeline. I know you see them, they're everywhere. If you come across a comic you like, I want you to try and find the original artist's socials and browse their other comics they've created. I guarantee you'll find some banger comics that just didn't get the same amount of attention as the other ones. And who knows, you might just make a difference in someone's art career. You know, making a whole video about webcomics has made me miss my first love. A lot of times when I think of a joke, I have to wait two months to tell it. And at that point, I don't even know if it's funny anymore. But a webcomic can have same day joke delivery. So this is how I'm officially announcing that I'm making webcomics again. I'll be posting them on my website and maybe Twitter if I'm still verified. There's already six brand new comics. Feel free to make any meme edits of them. I, I don't care. Also, be sure to check out this amazing reversible toasty plush. It's Twitter if I'm still verified. There's Twitter playing. Feel free to make any meme edits of them. I don't care. Also, be sure to check out this amazing reversible toasty plush. It's honestly my favorite thing. And up until April 10th, we're running Merch Madness. That's all for today's video. Today's reaction. Twitter plays a lot, and you cannot deny it, y'all. They took away everyone's verification. The reason for a verification was to know they weren't someone else trying to impersonate someone. And it's stupid that you have to buy it now, all right? It's really dumb. Um... I kind of see the point of buying it because you want to prove that it's you. But at the same time, it's like, 
someone who's not them can just buy it. Like someone who's impersonating someone. Let's say someone's impersonating me and they buy Twitcher Blue. Um, that'd be dumb. So I, I think it's I think it's dumb, but you know it's whatever. But that's all for today's video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're already new. Leave a like on the video. Turn on post notifications. Go find when I post a new video. Do all good stuff, and I'll see y'all later. And bye.